Hey guys, this is Skylar. Uh, I'm completely blind. I'm autistic and I have a chronic heart condition. Um, even though I am completely blind since birth, uh, my optic nerve, um, which is the biggest nerve in your body actually, it's the nerve on the back of your eye that uh, it translates you know, the information from your brain into your eye so you, that you, you know, can see. Well, that nerve, it did not develop on me in birth. But I have two, I have like four other working senses, so I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> um, so the reason I'm bringing this up is even though I'm blind, I have associations with names of colors. Now, the reason I say names of colors is because, like I said, I've never actually seen color before. I don't know what color looks like, but... Um, I'm constantly around people that can see, like mom, dad, my aunt, everybody else in my family, and for the most part, everybody else who's around me is sighted, which means that they can see. They have sight, eyesight. So I'm constantly, or not constantly, but I'm sometimes asking, what color is this? What color is of that? What does this look like? Because if I don't ask, how am I going to know, right? So... Um, I'm going to talk about names of certain names of colors and what memories they bring back to me and why. Um, the first one is red. Now, when I think of red, I think of actually a couple things. Number one, the taste of a Bloody Mary. Because Bloody Marys are made out of tomato juice. Uh, I don't have alcohol in mind because I have a heart condition, but um, they're usually made out of seasoned uh, tomato juice. So when I think of red, I think of a Bloody Mary. I also think of blood in general because that's what that's what um, Jesus used to pay for our sins is blood, his his blood, his own blood. So sometimes I will ask mom to buy me, you know, Bloody Mary mix, and I will drink it in memory of the way Jesus poured out his blood for each and every one of our sins. Um, I also like the color of pink, because pink reminds me of Johnson & Johnson baby lotion. The, um, the Johnson & Johnson baby lotion that I like the best is in the pink bottle. And the reason why I know this is because I actually contacted the um, the people that make Johnson Baby because I wanted to go shopping and buy some Johnson and Johnson, and I asked them what would be the best way to find some. So, yeah, they told me it was in the pink bottle. That's the one that I like the very most. So pink, Johnson Johnson, uh, black. The color of black reminds me of the German word Schwartz, or as the Germans say, Schwarz, and the Yiddish cognate uh, Schwarze. Now, these are two words that I love a lot. And they both mean the color black. Check it out. German and Yiddish sometimes are very similar. Some words in German or Yidd Yiddish um, are very similar to each other. And, and this is the case with German uh, Schwarz and the Yiddish Schwarze. They're very, very similar. So when I think of black, those are the two words that I think of, which are two of my favorite words, by the way, because um, I just like the sound. I also like the sound of Arnold's last name, which would be Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Anyways, um, so also... Like, the color of amber, which I've been told was like a yellowish brown, kind of reminds me of another one of my favorite words, whiskey. Um, whiskey is one of my favorite words because I really like the sound of it. You see, I have certain words that I just love the sound of, and whiskey is one of those. I have lots of favorite words. Green reminds me of actually a couple of my favorite words. I really like the word leprechaun, and I've been told that leprechauns are dressed in green, or they have certain green, I guess, accents to them, I guess, I don't know. 
but also green reminds me of another one of my favorite words and I just like the sound of this because it's a beautiful Spanish sounding word marijuana now because I'm a Christian I don't do drugs and I never have never will and but I just love the sound of the word marijuana and like I say it's a beautiful exotic sounding Spanish sounding word and I just love the sound of it and I've been told by sighted people <clears throat> that that particular plant is green so um those are the only color names slash associations I can think of right now but I'm sure that I'll come up with 493 more when I end this video so hopefully you enjoyed this video and God bless.